Hello everyone, my name is Justin Esslinger. I'm the Technical Director and Head of Research and Development for Rabbit Hole Creative. The video you are now watching is our entry for the Intel Perceptual Computing Challenge 2013. We've been working hard the past couple of months to deliver this demonstration that you now see. We've combined a multi-touch table with 3D tracking and projection mapping. Before I go into details of our project, a little about ourselves. We are creative specialists who build memorable experiences for large-scale entertainment and corporate events. Leading event producers, Fortune 500 companies, and A-list performing artists seek us out to magnify their message through innovative storytelling. As a multimedia design firm, we blend revolutionary technical development with superior creative concepts. We're very excited about this project and hope that you enjoy it. We've mounted a creative gesture camera over a large-scale multi-touch surface. The surface itself measures 66 by 36 inches. A short throw projector is mounted underneath the plexiglass as well as three PlayStation 3 cameras in an array of infrared light. Above and behind the operator of the table are two projectors calibrated to the shear that we're projecting on. For the 3D tracking, we're using a standalone application written in C++, streaming the transform matrix to our demonstration application written in Unity. To compensate for lens distortion, we're rendering out three 1080p cameras and warping their output in real time. This takes quite a bit of processing. The machine we're using is an i7-990X with a GeForce 660 GTX graphics card and 64GB of RAM. As you can see, we can change the appearance of the object, add animations with 3D effects, and even use the object as a controller. This is only the beginning. We're currently optimizing our application, reducing latency, errors, and overall noise. To check out our other projects, including this one that you're seeing, please go to rabbitholecreative.com. Thanks for watching.